Jack Agnant was born in Haiti in 1963 to a politically connected parents, during President Jean-Claude de Valier's regime. The family emigrated to Brooklyn, New York, following President de Valier's overthrow, in 1986. Agnant spoke only French when he arrived in the U.S., and was often bullied and chased home after school. Agnant assimilated quickly and began his criminal career as a teenager, robbing local drug dealers. His robbery ring, dubbed the Black Mafia, also included Walter King Tut Johnson. Agnant eventually became the proprietor of a barbershop in Queens, located next to the Manhattan Proper Bar. During this time, he hobnobbed with Brooklyn rapper Little Sean Wilkins, former heavyweight boxing champion Mike Tyson, reggae artist Shabba Ranks and pop singer Madonna. Agnant met actor and rapper Tupac Shakur, in Manhattan in early November, 1993. The two were introduced by an associate of Agnant at a party, at the Octagon nightclub. Agnant has stated that at the time, he was only vaguely familiar with Shakur, due to his growing reputation as a quasi-outlaw, stemming from an incident on Halloween, in which he shot police officers Mark and Scott Whitwell, both off duty at the time, in Atlanta, Georgia. The then 22-year-old Oakland, California-based rapper was in town, in order to give a concert at an Atlanta college, when a confrontation ensued in traffic, on the morning of October 31. According to witnesses, the Whitwells and their wives were crossing the street when they were nearly struck by a passing car. The brothers then confronted the occupants of the vehicle, when Shakur and his party, in a separate vehicle, stopped to intervene. Witnesses said that Mark Whitwell then brandished a firearm. Whether he fired or not is in dispute. Shakur subsequently opened fire, hitting one of the Whitwells in the buttocks and the other in the abdomen. Not long after the shooting, the police arrested the rapper at his hotel and charged him with two counts of aggravated assault. The following day, he was released on a $55,059 bond and the officers were released from Atlanta's Grady Memorial Hospital, where they were treated for their injuries. Agnant and Shakur quickly bonded and socialized regularly, including attending Manhattan's famed Scores Strip Club on November 6, where the two watched the heavyweight title rematch between then-champion Bo and Holyfield, drinking $2,600 a bottle cognac in the club's VIP room. The two enjoyed a symbiotic relationship, wherein Agnant supplied marijuana, women, and protection, while Shakur closely observed Agnant, in order to prepare for his role as a New York gangster in his upcoming film, Above the Rim. Despite the fact that he'd starred in two feature films and had hit songs in heavy radio rotation, Shakur didn't yet have entry into as many popular nightclubs as Agnant. Agnant reportedly also bought the actor his first Rolex watch. On November 14, 1993, Agnant accompanied Shakur to the now-defunct, upscale Manhattan nightclub Nels, an exclusive, celebrity magnet that frequently turned away stars such as Don Johnson and Cher. An associate of Agnant introduced Shakur to 19-year-old Iona Jackson, who performed oral sex on the actor, within half an hour following the introduction. Afterwards, Shakur invited Jackson to his suite at Manhattan's posh La Parker Meridian Hotel. A couple of days later, Iona Jackson returned to Shakur's suite, where Shakur, Agnant, Shakur's road manager, and another man were already present. Hours later, Jackson accused Shakur, Agnant, and the others of gang rape. Shakur, Fuller and Agnant were arrested four days later and charged with three counts of first-degree sexual abuse, sodomy, and illegal possession of a firearm. Agnant's attorney, Paul Brenner, had his case severed from Shakur's, and reportedly, Shakur, suspicious of Agnant's motives, began to distance himself. In November of 1994, while clubbing with friend and fellow actor Mickey Rourke, Shakur voiced his concerns. He told Rourke's friend, Daily News reporter A.J. Benzer, that heavyweight boxing champion Mike Tyson had called him from prison, to warn him about Agnant. Benzer subsequently reported that Shakur also believed that Agnant had set him up. On November 30, at approximately 12, 25 in the morning, Shakur was shot five times during a robbery in the lobby of Manhattan's Quad Recording Studios, by two armed perpetrators. Shakur had been invited to the studio by Jimmy Henchman in order to record a song with rapper Little Sean Wilkins, for whom Henchman was acting as manager. Shakur, who was being accompanied by Randy Stretch Walker and another man when he was shot, had been introduced to Henchman by his associate, Agnant. On December 1, both Shakur, who appeared in court in a wheelchair and heavily bandaged, and Fuller were found guilty of two counts of sexual abuse and acquitted of the other charges. 
Shakur was sentenced to 18 months to four and a half years in prison on February 7, 1995. Haitian Jack, real name Jack Agnant, received three years of probation and a $1,000 fine, in exchange for pleading guilty to two misdemeanor charges. Shakur served eight months before being released on bail, pending an appeal, that October. Shakur later implicated his friend, rapper Christopher Notorious B.I.G. Wallace, who had previously warned him to distance himself from Agnant, in his shooting. Agnant, meanwhile, became a record executive in early 1995. He was hired as director by childhood friend, Lance on Rivera, CEO of the Ondia's Recordings rap label. Rivera's business partner and co-owner of Ondia's happened to be Wallace. The two had co-founded the company in 1993. Shakur was murdered in Las Vegas, Nevada in September of 1996. His first posthumous album, The Don Caluminati, The Seven Day Theory, was released on November 5 and contained the song, Against All Odds, on which he accused Agnant of being a federal informant, and both Agnant and Jimmy Henchman, of setting him up. In 1997, Agnant filed a libel suit against Shakur's estate, Shakur's former label, Death Row Records, seeking $200 million. The suit claimed that Agnant, feared for his life and that his employment opportunities, were hindered since the release of Against All Odds. The suit was dismissed on December 16, 1998. Agnant and Henchman reportedly ended their association on bad terms, following a shootout with each other in Miami, Florida. In 1999, Agnant was hired as security by music executive Steve Stout, following an altercation with Sean Diddy Combs, in which Combs assaulted Stout with a champagne bottle. In the early 2000s, Agnant worked as a music manager, representing recording artists such as singer-songwriter Geo Washington, then known as Governor. Agnant was instrumental in securing Washington a recording deal with Atlantic Records. Agnant was incarcerated in 2004 after shooting a man, following an altercation at a nightclub, on Los Angeles' trendy Melrose Avenue. He was deported to Haiti in 2007. In 2015, it was reported that Benny Boom was set to direct a miniseries on the life of Haitian Jack. Haitian Jack, real name Jack Agnant, currently lives in the Dominican Republic, 